the minute I come in here and I say I'm going to do a recording, who comes? Is it because you know I'm recording that you want to see what's going on? Yeah, I know it is. Anyway, it is Friday. Here she comes. Here comes trouble. It's Friday. It is the 16th of October. Here comes trouble. Complete with tail. I'm busy talking to all those people in there. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. You didn't know that. Or maybe she did because whenever I start talking to all those people in there, you start coming to see me. Don't you? Do you want some love? Is that what you want? Hmm? Oh, she wants some love. Don't you? Oh, mm. there now. Is that enough? No, you want some more? Oh, yes, you gorgeous girl. Anyway, if she will allow me to, this big parcel has arrived today. <laughs> she always wraps it up with pretty coloured duct tape. And I figured out, well, do you know who it's from? <laughs> it is from my friend Jenny Flake. I do pay for these things, but she can't help going to see year again. And she keeps saying, I'm going to see year. Do you want anything? And I'll say, yeah, <laughs> see what there is. And then so she comes back and she'll say, I've got loads. I've, my daughter's taking this much. I'm taking this and whatever's left you can have. <laughs> so, and like I say, I do pay for it, but uh, we shall open it up. I said, to, I said to Brian when it came in, I said, right. I said, I'm not going to open it in the sitting room. I'm going to open it up in front of you all because I don't know what's in here either. I do believe... She did show me some, and I do believe we've got some leopard print again. I've got so much leopard print. It's, I, I hope these um, these companies that they're making them for start changing their designs a bit. Anyway, I did notice that the leopard, no, not the leopard print, the spots that I did, and I will be doing a video about this. I dyed uh, some fabric. Some, some of you were asking me, how do I dye? And I've done a little blog for you on how I dye fabric. A particular one that I've got, I dyed, and it's actually from a company that a lot of you may know for, or for large people. It's, they make clothes for large people, and that is um, yours. And this white fabric that I had was from them. Well, it wasn't from them. It was fabric that they had had made and clothes to sell. And um, so it made a lot of this fabric might be from the likes of those kind of companies for those factories. And the, there is a piece here that's very similar to the one that I'm talking about. But this one, she did show me a picture. This is actually jersey, whereas the one that I had dyed was a cotton. Right, well, first of all is this one. Now I've got, as, as I say, this is very like the one that I've just dyed purple. So I'm going to have to dye this a different colour because white washes me out. And uh, it is a stretch jersey. It's a stretch jersey. And I don't know how much there is here. There's quite a bit, I think. One. About two metres. Two metres. So that will make a top for me. So that's one. Very nice. The next one. Now, I wasn't so keen on this one. I've I kind of just saw, shown me a couple of them. 
I haven't seen those ones. I didn't know about them. Anyway, she's shown me a couple of them. One of them, this is the one that I wasn't so sure of because I thought the pattern was going to be quite big. But it could make some pyjamas or something. But Which, by the way, I still haven't made the other pyjamas. But uh, this is, it's a bit pale. And it is... Z -z 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 I'm like, oh, it's not so, not not overly bad. Well, it, oh golly, it is. <laughs> pajamas, pajamas. It's peaches and yellows, and it's geometric type patterns. But it's um, yeah, it's def definitely got to be pajama pajama material. So that's that one. I think there's two meters there. Then the next one is, it's actually, you know, I don't like greens. I think I'm starting to like greens because greens go nice with grey hair. And this is a lovely sweatshirty type material. This is like that. That other one, sorry, was a jersey. And this is like a stretchy material as well. And this would make a nice jumpery type of thing. I do like this one. This is a couple of metres. Well goes from there to there doubled I think that's going to be some kind of winter jumper which to be honest I think I'm gonna need because at the moment I'm wearing these kind of things uh, oh this this top that I'm wearing the shirt uh, this is the a scarf that I made I don't know if you remember I'll put a link above those of you who haven't seen how to make this scarf this is not my, my make it's a Marks and Spencer's linen I've had it a few years but I do like it it's um, got little tags there which I've wrapped around to keep them up and uh, I don't often wear it and I found it in the wardrobe. I've got so many things in the wardrobe and I thought right I'm going to start wearing them. Now the next one is another leopardy skin colour pattern rather. I'm not sure if I like this or not and this is a pale green. Not much of it actually. There's only about a metre. Actually, it's not too bad. Make a nice little top. This is a pale, like, it's like a bright green. It's like a grass green. Now, again, I wouldn't normally like that colour, but um, hmm, I might reconsider. Then the next one is a flowery one. Now then. I think this would be nice for the summer when we do get a summer when we're able to go outside in the summer and that's this one it's a jersey again cotton jersey they're all cotton jerseys it's quite bright that is quite nice might be um bright flowers on a black background the brights are reds and pinks blues and whites so it's quite nice that and i think there's two meters there again and lastly again i think these are going to have to be pajamas <laughs> i can't keep i can't keep using this uh um well not pajamas it's going to have to be something that's not that's worn around the house it's um another leopard skin effect a meter so i'll get a top out of it I don't know whether I would have it that way or that way. I think I might. If I if I cut it out, I might have it that way. Because we do no ladies down stripes. Sorry. We do no ladies down stripes flatter you, cross stripes make you fatter. And it's very funny actually. When we were on holiday, Barbara showed me a picture. She has three sisters, there's four of them all together, and they were sat on a wall. They had all their photos taken because it was one of their birthdays and they were all sat on the wall and when we were when she showed me it I said oh golly I said you're thinner than everybody there and she says well actually I'm not she says we're all big ladies and she said they've actually lost a lot of weight and the one thing that I noticed was she was wearing dark clothes one of her other sisters was wearing dark clothes as well but not as dark and the other two were wearing white tops and the fact that they were wearing white made them you you could see every bump and bulge whereas the other two Barbara and her sis, other sister were wearing dark clothes so it wasn't as obvious so this is where dark clothes are very helpful to wear 
now then and then the last one which is very oh no the last one is more of this now there's a piece of paper in here she stuck a piece of paper in what she said oh it's not the same that is navy that's a navy background so i've got black with a navy background i've got flowers with a navy background and this is flowers with a black background so they're not the same and she has said there's two meters of the black with the the flowers with the black background two and a half meters of this one with the navy background the black cream and brown which is that one is one meter the dark green knit which i like which is that one is two and a half meters the jade and black oh she calls that jade and black you call that jade and black jenny um i would call it an emerald green uh, is one meter emerald or jade it's lovely and the pastel geometric pajamas that one there is two meters and the cream and black is two meters and she says all washed she has washed them all amazing jenny thank you very much i've just got to find somewhere to put it i've got to think of something to do with it and uh, we're good to go now it was 13 meters and it was 26 pound so i really uh, despite the fact that uh, you kind of it's it's what you would call what i would call a um a mystery parcel because you don't know what's in it and there's still some good things in it and anything that i don't want uh that i don't like will either be dyed or it will be used for something that's not going to be out on the main street with um so yeah thrilled to bits with that and uh, one viewer said made a comment and said that they had so much fabric that, that what I had on my shelves was nothing compared with what they had. Well, I have a bin full elsewhere and I've also got, uh, I've got a box full in, in the sitting room. In a, I've got one of these double box seats that you can sit on and it's absolutely chock-a-block with fabric. But I'm probably nowhere near what a lot of you have. And to be honest, I'm beginning to think we're starting to hoard. <laughs> <laughs> I watch these programs about people who hoard clothes, ho hoard their stuff, and I'm beginning to think I'm becoming a hoarder. Where's my button? There's my button. Anyway, I've got so many videos that I want to shoot to do that I've done and want to get up. I was looking the other day. I've been filming and filming, and I haven't uplisted things. I've got a little bit of film about husband's birthday that you might be interested in watching. I've got uh, a little bit of film about a scarf I made, which you might be interested in watching. And these are some of them are dating back uh, maybe a month. So I was looking through all my photographic things and I'm thinking, oh, golly. In fact, what was happening is it's telling me my my, my uh, cloud storage is coming. It's getting very full and it said you need to get rid of stuff so I figured oh golly what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of videos and it'll cheer you up probably and uh, you'll be able to watch all sorts of things because it's going to cover a lot of different areas hi everybody my chair wheels aren't moving very well and Hazel told me check your wheels because they get tangled up with threads I've just taken this off my casters on my chair that I've got my rotating chair and uh, it was um, look at that all the hairs all the threads that have been gathered not too much on here I've pulled them off this one let's see if I can do I was wondering why it wasn't turning very well and um, I don't know if you can see there and fellow sewer hazel cox told me she'd pulled a load of this out of her casters on her chair and that was why hers wasn't turning i've just been struggling to get mine to move forward and i've realized that that's what it is it's the thread is being caught in here so don't forget to check your casters on your chairs ladies you wouldn't believe that this is i've only had this a few weeks about a month 
couple of months maybe this and it's full of threads already what I've pulled up from inside the casters so I should be able to move more easily but just goes to show how these casters pick these up and you'll, if you have a chair that has casters on the bottom those are what the little moving wheels I don't know if you call them casters in other countries but we call them casters in England and um, if that gathers and wraps around the wheels it makes it hard for you to move it gets harder and harder the two tools I used was my pliers minus the little bit of plastic coating and my uh, bent tweezers pointed tweezers I found I found these ones so that the pliers were the best ones to pull pull them out back on on form <laughs> now then um, another another video and I'm going to go through some things that I've bought I've actually bought them a while ago uh, but I've and I've just found them <laughs> I've just found them the other day so the first one is some fabric that I bought it was in a sale and it was in flamingo fabrics do you remember I bought some I bought some lovely flam flamingo fabric jersey well this is flamingo fabric jersey I got it and I think they've still got some and it's this multicolored jersey I'll open it out even more for you so I got a meter and a half I think it was I can't remember whether the stripe is it no must it be yes a meter and a half because the stripe is actually horizontal and I figured at first I was figuring on a jump a sweatshirt for me with maybe the sleeves going in a different direction or something weird and wonderful about it but it's quite nice it's got I'll get pull it up close for you to see jersey stretches that way the only downside is it's white on the inside so when you pull it you can see the white in it can you it goes white so you don't want it too tight on you I figured it would make a nice sweatshirt, just for a bright sweatshirt, some kind of jumper sweatshirt for the winter. Not very thick, so I'd have to wear a t-shirt underneath or a, some kind of uh, cotton t-shirt or something underneath. But I figured that would make it very bright when I'm wearing it out in the winter. So watch that space for that. Um, I've been buying quite a few things, as you know. When you're in lockdown, I'm getting, do you remember, <laughs> I must tell you this. When you're retired and you're in lockdown, well, not necessarily in lockdown, when you're retired, I don't know what it is, but you know, you get, all people get the brochures that come through the door with all the disability things you can buy, or I can't remember, other other brochures that come through the door. And, and old people are very gullible because they're sitting there doing nothing. They see something and they order it. Well, we don't get the brochures through the door. And I have to say, the first time, I think when we were 50s, the Saga magazine came through the door, which is for old people. He went, ah, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> have to go straight in the bin uh, because he doesn't want to get old he wants eternal youth this is all his lordship I'm not so bothered I just said when when my time comes I'll go I'm, I, I think I'll be ready <laughs> so anyway what I was going to say is when you're in lockdown I spend all my time on the computer when I'm not doing anything I'm looking and I'm browsing and I'm looking at this and looking at that or on my phone and I'm looking at this that and the other and I keep ordering these things so I saw I already had bought from Flamingo Fabrics and they sent uh, an email saying we've oh, got a sale on do you want to get anything and I saw this I wasn't going to spend a lot and I thought this was a reasonable price so I figured I'd go and get that nice and bright for winter now then what else did i get i got some makeup as well and the makeup was an american makeup i think and it was one where you judge it by your you look at this look at the what was it you looked it was via into instagram and you look at the pictures of people's faces and you pick which one it says which one would you would you say you're as closest to your skin and you go that one which one's closest to your skin that one and the show you keep showing your pictures and you pick them and eventually it says what color 
makeup you should have well the first one I got when it came I could have sent it back it was way too pale but I figured I still had some of my I usually use Estee Lauder um, Estee Lauder Estee Lauder Estee Lauder something or other I usually use that and I had a couple of bottles that where I'd bought far too dark. I think I bought them for the, for summer, and they were they were dark. I, I, in the winter, I need a lighter a lighter tone. And I had gone to um, to Teesside Park, gone into Boots. I was going to get a, a new a new uh, bottle of Estee Lauder. When I looked at the Estee Lauder counter, there was nothing there. They had a few things, but the rest of it was empty. This was when we just come out of lockdown. And I thought, oh my goodness me, is there not? Can you not get anything from Estee Lauder these days? So in the end, I came away and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go for something else. I'll have to order online. And then this popped up, and this this company popped up on Instagram. I think what happens is, I'm jumping around here but I think what happens is you go and look at something online and then the next thing you know all your little apps that you have because they must all be in they all must all be linked your little apps suddenly start popping up with makeup or start popping up with eye, eye mascara or whatever it is that you're looking at so this popped up and it's called Il Maquillage Il Maquillage Il Maquillage yes it's Il Maquillage and you get this massive big box and the bottle is the same size as the Estee Lauder and it came in this lovely box with the uh, black black uh, tissue paper screwed up and it says we've spent years perfecting our formulas with uncompromising attention to detail we're confident you'll be as obsessed with the foundation as we are not in love returns and exchanges are always free well it arrived as i said and it was slightly pale but then i thought right i'll top top it up with the, the darker estee lauder that i have uh, that i have and it started made it into a nice i had to do a lot of shaking like that and it turned into a nice uh, a nice makeup and the nice thing about it is this one's got a pump i'll show you i'll put a little video up here to show you it's got a pump whereas the Estee Lauder doesn't have a pump and so the next time I thought oh I'm going to go on that on that website again and see if I get come up with the same the same number well I went and chose different things according to my skin uh, I think I had gone for something very pale I don't know why I clicked on a pale one but anyway I clicked again and I ended up with a colour that was much better I think this was about £30 and Estee Lauder is about £30 so I figured that's six and two threes so next time I do like the stuff I will probably get the next the right colour next time but this is called Il Maquillage and along with that um another one popped up and it was a foundation thing for to put your foundation makeup on and that was this brush and it was so lovely i must show you oh well, i'll show you that here it was so soft when i got it it's handy handles well holds well you you can i put the i put the mascara the makeup on the back of my hand and then i do that and put it around my face and you can get into all the nooks and crannies you know because when you get older you do get nooks and crannies and this brush is really really good and i liked it so much that i decided i'd buy two two more and i sent them to my daughter one for my daughter and one for my, my granddaughter who is starting to wear makeup just gradually starting and i figured start her off well with a nice brush to blend with I've never used brushes before. I've usually just used my fingers and put put it on like that. Anyway, my daughter rang up and said, Mum, we've got two of the most beautiful brushes that have come. We don't know what you do with them. <laughs> and I said, well, what do you think you do? And she said, I can't remember what she said. She said, uh, well, we th is it for the dog? And I said, no. And she said, is it for, is it to sweep the crumbs off the table? And I said, no. <laughs> And in the end, I had to tell her what it was for, and she was, uh, she was, oh, mum, I'm looking forward to using it. And the feedback that I got from her was, it was really good. <laughs> I think I picked up 
paid five pound for that and I was really impressed by it I would recommend it then the other day I I always I'm starting to wear hairbands as you know starting to wear hairbands oh while I interrupt glasses an old pair of glasses that are new but I have never worn them and the reason why I never wore them was because this part here was brown and then the green here I don't know if you can see it was brown and green it was brown and green and I didn't like the brown I just thought it made me look as if I had really heavy eyebrows which I'm not into I've never ever plucked my eyebrows and I've no intention of doing it anyway so um I, I decided I got, I got my sandpaper out and I, I filed I sanded down the brown because I realized that the color is just on the I don't know if you can see there the color is just on the surface so I figured with this brown that was on the top there I didn't like that it was the colour of the colour of the brown on there. The colour of the brown there. And so I got my little sandpaper piece and I sanded all that down. And, and I, I thought it looked a bit better. So this is an, an old pair of glasses that are new and I've never ever worn them. Right, so anyway. What was I going to, what else was I going to say? Well, I start, as I say, because my hair is getting longer... I had planned to grow it long but with lockdown it's going fast it's growing faster and faster and I usually get it trimmed into like a bob but it, I've never had a I've never had the inclination because of lockdown not that I'm scared or anything I just can't be bothered and B because we are between they put us into tiers now uh tiers one is a is a low there's no tier zero tier one tier two and t, tier three three is dangerously high two is moderately high and one is high with covid and so we are in tier two now we've been brought in with it from those around us but apparently some of the the county to the right of us is getting very close to tier three we are all coming they're all coming down with covid and in fact the singer in hubby's band has come down her husband's come down with it um there's been COVID in the school where my hubby's granddaughter goes to. They've had their bubble has had to come home and lock down for a week. There's been COVID in John's daughter, who's teachers. She's a teacher in her primary school, so her bubble had to close down for ten days. It's it's all over the place. I'm not worried. I am one of those these people whose glass is always half full and never half empty. I am not worried. I'm not stressed. I'm just getting on with it. And as long as I don't go and party in somebody's house till two in the morning, getting very close to somebody and swilling beer and getting too drunk to realise what I'm doing, I think I'm quite ca quite capable of being careful. If I And I often say to Brian, if I get it, I get it. There's not, not a lot I can do. Anyway, I've digressed yet again. So the other day, I oh, it's all about my hair, isn't it? Well, I wear, I've been wearing hair bands because it, it, with it being long, it keeps getting in my eyes like that and it's causing me to scratch my face a lot. So I figured, right, hair bands. And the ones that I normally have are plastic ones. Um, this is a plastic one. It was a, it's a brown one, originally brown, but I painted some nail varnish on the top of the flowers. I just put, bought that at... Um, at Morrison's painted some nail varnish on it's all right but I, nothing to write home about and I, when I get a nice hairband I like to keep it I like to I look after it because I've had several phases where I have long hair and so I've got a, I've built up this massive hair basket full of stuff full of hair hair uh, slides hair elastics and all sorts so the other day when I was on doing my old people scouring through the internet I came across these hairbands and they're the kind that the footballers wear and I couldn't decide which one to go for I thought I'm going to get one but I couldn't decide which one to go for so in the end I saw that they had the one that I wanted was was out of stock and the only way I could get it was if it was in a in a pack of one two three four six a pack of six and i think it was only four pound so these are metal ones and it's the kind that the footballers wear so if i can show you what they are i've got one in already which is a coily one 
this one is a coil it's just like a coil so that's it, that one and basically I tend to pull it back like that and then bring some fringe forward uh, there's that one which is a zigzag one can you see that it's a zigzag and that's a bit like what the footballers wear then there's a bigger coily one and then there's a, a zigzaggy coily one that goes up and i think this is the one that the footballers wear this one here with a it's a smaller a smaller zigzag and that was the one that i really wanted but then there was also this one which is like it's strange it's got a coil and then it goes up it, it goes the, the the coil goes up again so um some of them fit on nicer than others if i do this one it kind of combs into your hair and combs it off and it keeps my hair off my head don't know if you see there and I like that one it kind of the, the nice thing about these and the reason why I got them was a lot this plastic one the plastic ones I wear they keep dropping off my head but these because they've got teeth into them they're much they once you put them in they stay in so that's that one with the with the the teeth that are on the slant I'm assuming that's that this is the front and that's the back and then this one here if I put this one in again that's that I like that one as well sometimes hurt when you pull them out like then this is the the bigger one this is actually I think too big I don't know if you can see there I've been putting pass air crayon on my hair there purple crayon then ow, that's about the worst bit then this one I think this is this hurts as well a bit or does it no this is the one that's least least effective I don't feel like it's gripping my hair so I don't think I'll be wearing it because it just tends it will just do that when it when I wear it so that's probably the one I will least wear and this one the zigzag one I feel like I'm a princess with this one on I don't know that I will bother using this one as much but this one again is like a zigzag I think again that one might be prone to falling backwards off my head so yeah it'll just fall back like that so, but the other ones they grip into my hair so I, that's what I like about them so there we go that is the I put the little spiral one on because that's the one I started with and as I say I got them from eBay for the six um, I'll have to put a pr I'll put the price up there because I can't exactly remember what they were but I'm really really pleased with those I think I'll stop there and I'll catch you next time